What is good everybody? Leave me a like and comment something down below for a potential shout out in a future video. In every single video moving forward, I will now be shouting out one random commenter on my new videos. So if you guys would like a shout out in a future video, comment down below and leave me a like. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mighty of Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a brand new 2-in-1 WWE figure review on the brand new WrestleMania 37 Celebrations, WrestleMania 3, Macho Man Randy Savage, and Andre the Giant figures, as you guys can see here. They do come with their in-ring carts, which is really awesome. This pack is really weird, you know. I think they, they don't come together, you know. They don't come together in a battle pack style setting. As you guys can tell, they are individually packaged. And they're referring to the set as the WrestleMania 37 Celebration pack. Now, I'm not exactly sure. that That's the name of the line, and you would think it would just be like a WrestleMania moments thing, but it, they are referring to it as the WrestleMania 37 celebration figure. So whatever that means, I'm not sure if we're going to get WrestleMania 38, 39, 40 as we go forward. Vince McMahon has kind of ditched the numbers thing, you know? They just refer to it as WrestleMania. So the fact that we're calling it the WrestleMania 37 celebration pack, at least that's how ringside has it on there. You buy these guys individually, and it just kind of seemed like these guys dropped out of nowhere. You know, we got the images at San Diego Comic-Con or Comic-Con at home. And then out of nowhere, here they are in the flesh. And I mean, they look really good. What I'm seeing from these figures so far, the packaging looks awesome. It reminds me a lot of the old entrance greats, you know, packaging that we got back in the day. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You have your front viewing window with their in-ring carts between Andre the Giant and Macho Man Randy Savage. They did not wrestle each other at the event, but the, they are both based on WrestleMania 3, if I'm not mistaken. Andre the Giant took on Hulk Hogan, and Macho Man took on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for the Intercontinental Championship. So here's the image of Andre, image of Macho Man here. On the back, you do get a great product image of both figures here inside the cart. At the bottom here, it does have their info. If you guys would like to read that, you can pause it now. It's just some info and things of that nature. On the other side, we have another image of both men, and then at the top, we do have the old WWE slash F logo, which is pretty cool, but it has it has a real, like, exclusive vibe to it. It reminds me a lot of the Macho Man Slim Jim that we got from San Diego Comic-Con last year. It reminds me a lot of the entrance greats figures. It just has a real special feel to them. They look great if you're a flashback collector. I think you're going to enjoy these. Mock collectors are going to enjoy these, and I think they look really awesome in the packaging, but you guys know I don't collect mocks, so what we're going to do is crack these hoes out of their packaging, take a closer look at them, and see what these guys are all about. So let's dive into the WrestleMania 37 celebration, Macho Man Randy Savage and Andre the Football Giant. So here is Andre the Giant and Macho Man out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell, you know. It's kind of ridiculous. We'll get into it in just a moment with all of my thoughts and details on these figures and everything like that. They come with some pretty cool things, which we are going to get into, of course. But out of the packaging, first off, you know, I, I just feel completely confused about it just because it was so random. Again, they kind of were just dropped on us out of nowhere. We haven't seen basics like this in very, very long. You know, usually basics now, they don't have the single arm articulation. The knees are really stiff. They usually don't have any foot articulation either. The true effects on these look pretty good from what I'm seeing. We haven't taken a closer look at Macho Man yet. I kind of want that to be a surprise for us. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm just going to review them here together because they are basics. They are not elite figures, which is kind of crazy. You would think in this kind of packaging and stuff, you would probably get elite figures. But let's, let's go ahead and start with Macho Man Randy Savage. So let's go ahead and reveal the head sculpt. Let's find out the moment of truth here. I think we've seen this head sculpt before, but I don't know if we've seen it in true effects technology. And oh my goodness, God in heaven, Lord Jesus. That is a really damn good Macho Man head sculpt. Look at that right there, dude. That's probably, that's that's the best one. That's the best one. It's not even close. That's the best Macho Man they've ever made. Look at it. Holy crap, man. That is excellent. I mean, th this figure may be worth the pickup just off the head sculpt alone, dude. Oh my goodness. But this is what I was talking about, guys. We have not seen articulation like this on Basics in forever. The classic arm swappable basic articulation. If Mattel is watching this video, please God in heaven bring this back to the basic figures. I mean, dude, we missed this so much. Being able to arm swap was so nice and you could do so many cool like arm swaps and things of that nature. You know, Jeff Hardy comes to the company. We get excited because we're going to get a bunch of different basic Jeff Hardys where we can easily just pop the arms off, put them on the elites, and then they change the arm articulation. No longer usable. Makes me sick. But he also comes with white and black sunglasses. They look good. Uh, that we, We've seen these sunglasses multiple times. They fit the figure good, but man, what a head sculpt, dude. The true effects look so good on these. I think Macho Man will be very proud of this figure. This is his WrestleMania 3 attire in the hot pink 
and yellow or neon yellow or bright yellow. When I see this attire, I immediately think of CM Punk as anybody else in that boat. I think he even wore the last basic that we got of this attire was when he was in the two pack with CM Punk. I do have this Macho Man, and this is, I think, this is pretty much a re release of this basic over here. The hot pink color looks better. It's virtually the exact same figure, except this one's more new. It looks better. The head sculpt's better. I mean, look at this head sculpt, dude. That's fantastic. But there's your comparison between the Macho Man. I am very impressed with this Macho Man figure, dude. I want to put this head on an elite figure for real. This looks great. Really excellent job on here. Again, he does come with his sunglasses. Now, let's get into Andre the Giant. Now, Andre the Giant, this head sculpt is really good. And I have only owned, I think, two Andre the Giant figures. I used to have the Hall of Fame four pack with, you know, Bobby Heenan and Mr. Perfect and Big John Stud. But this right here looks pretty damn good, man. I'm liking the head sculpt we got right here. I think the likeness is definitely there for Andre. Massive head. I mean, it's Andre the Giant. What do you expect? Again, old articulation on there. We are going to compare it to his last Elite, which was the Elite 60. I don't think I ever got the Toys R Us one. I had multiple opportunities at retail to get that figure. Never did. I should have totally gotten it, but I never did. Uh, since then, I have sold that four-pack, the Hall of Fame Target exclusive four-pack. I have sold mine, so the only Elite I have is the Elite 60, which we will get into, and that is the giant machine that we got right here. And this head sculpt just looks better. I mean, look at the... This looks kind of cartoony. This one has the true effects, and I think that I definitely like this better. I wish that I had a short version singlet for Andre, because that's just a look that you like. This is the perfect look for Andre, and that's the look that I want my figure to have, so I don't know what I'll do. I may head swap these. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what kind of fix-ups we can get going, but this definitely looks great. I think they did a really good job on it. Again, the basic articulation looks really good, and Andre's just one of those figures you gotta have in your Legends, man. You gotta have Andre. And if you guys are actually wondering, the hands are swappable, so you can replace the hands on these guys. I think that's a very interesting thing, but one thing you're noticing is his baby hands. Look at that right there, dude. On this basic, he does not have the elite, you know, Big Show slash Andre the Giant hands. This is definitely not a Andre the Giant hand by any means. His hand was massive. He could palm somebody's whole face. And this was before, this figure came out before you could head swap. This, this figure actually came out before you could hand swap. We didn't get that until like Elite 63, I do believe. So if you wanted to put these hands on the basic, you would have to arm swap the Elite 60 or you'd have to get some Big Show arms or something. Knocking, knocking Andre over there. But one thing that I think is really important with these figures is the base, the little in-ring cart that you get. And I'm going to get into that right now because I think that is one of the big selling points of this thing. So for displays options and, and Legends displays, guys, this is an excellent piece. If you guys don't know, back in the day at WrestleMania, they used to come out in these things. So uh, when you would come out on your entrance, they would put you in here and you would wave to the crowd. You'd talk mess to the wrestler, you know, from the ring cart and they'd come out and they would roll their way all the way down to the ring. So it'd be like a cart and this thing actually does have wheels on it. There's operational wheels on the bottom and you can slide this back and forth. Uh, the base is really sturdy. It feels really good in the hand. These ropes are really good. They're like a, I want to say they're kind of like, I don't know if you guys know, I, I don't want to say silly bands, but they have like a silly band type feel to them. They're like rubber. They're not cloth. They are rubber and they, you know, they can stretch here. I'm sure you could snap it in half if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, but you could. You have the WWE logos on these turnbuckles. The blue color looks good. You do have a steel plated base down here. It does have little holes for you to plug in the figure, you know, so you could pose him around and then stick his foot in the hole right here. So you could stick his foot in the hole. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about him falling over or anything, but I am uh, pretty impressed by these, man. I think they're really, really good. If you guys want to pick these up, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to pick them up, but I think overall, they are pretty nice basics. I wish that basics would go back to this articulation. I think anybody would agree with that, but dang, bro, I really didn't expect to be as impressed with these as I was. One thing that I will say is that the Monster Man has an accessory, but the Andre the Giant doesn't, so that's pretty weird. I don't know why that's the case. I don't know what you would give Andre, but I think it'd be pretty cool if he would have included an accessory. I know you get the in-ring cart or whatever you want to call this, but Macho Man gets that too, and Macho Man gets glasses, so why doesn't Andre get some sort of accessory? I, again, I don't know what you'd give him, but it'd be cool to see, you know? But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for my two-in-one review of the WrestleMania 37 Celebration figures. Again, if you'd like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to do so. Don't forget to like and leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for a possible shout-out on our next video. A huge shout-out to AOW Figures for the comment on our last video. I enjoy Sour Patch Kids too, and the big Jason with the severed head was also my favorite part of the setup. But thank you guys so very much for checking out the review. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of these figures. Do 
Do you miss the old basic articulation? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. If you guys are flashback collectors, these are are probably must cops, man. The ring carts, the head sculpts, the old basic articulation. I think these are worth what you're getting for in money. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.